sharing the pranava. Take a breath in. Om Shanti 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 And sharing the Gayatri Mantra, take a breath in. Om Burbhava Swaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Pargo Devasya Dimahi Diyo Yona Pachotayat Om Shanti 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 And exhale, release. Let's come to our mats in Tadasana, middle of your mat. <clears throat> Toes, heels, knees, hips, shoulders back. Even while we're having a lengthened spine and opening through the chest, make sure that you don't let your rib cage pop up. Keep it in. How do I keep it in? By just engaging a little bit of that pelvic tilt, it draws the, the uh, rib cage in. Opening up the hands, inhale, arms up. And exhale down. Again, inhale, find that easy breath. Exhale, release tension. Inhale, lift the chin up to look at the hands. Exhale, release chin down to the chest. One more time, inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, both arms up at the top, hands together, drop the shoulders. Getting ready for a side bend. So before I do anything, I always review my foundation. Squaring the hips and chest forward. Exhale to the right. Take your time. Remember, we don't want to collapse through the right side. So I'm not crunching here as much as I'm lifting out and over to the side. So there's always a feeling of lift in the side bend. From here, if you can, gaze through the left armpit. Turn the right palm down and let the hand come down to the side. Inhale, see if you can lengthen a little bit more and exhale down just a smidgen. Keeping that left arm nice and active. Left shoulder blade towards the spine. Open up the right palm. Inhale the right palm to meet the left. Exhale, release the right palm down to the thigh. Again, inhale up. Exhale down. Keep lifting. Inhale up. Exhale. Last one. Inhale up. Hold the right hand here. Coming out. Inhale, come all the way up. And release both hands down. Opposite side. Inhale, both arms up. Hands together, drop shoulders. Review your foundation. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, left side bend. Changing the gaze. Looking through the right armpit. Turn the left palm down. As you exhale, let it come down to your thigh. Inhale, lift and lengthen here. Exhale, deep in the side bend a bit. Bring those shoulders behind you. Open up the left palm. Inhale, left palm to right palm. Exhale, release down. 
Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, leave the left palm next to the right. Coming out, inhale up. And exhale, release down. Back bend, inhale, arms up. Hands together, drop the shoulders. Set your foundation here. Again, as you lengthen, if you feel your rib cage is coming out forward, Tuck the hips just a little bit without engaging the glutes. Inhale, lengthen up. Stretch out of your hips. As you exhale, simply bring the shoulders behind you. Drop the shoulders. So we're going to try and maintain this position of the shoulders as we open through the chest. Inhale again and lengthen. Exhale, drop back. Hold. Again, it's a lifting motion. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, bend your knees and swan dive all the way down. As we come down, let's just rest our belly and chest on our thighs and release the hands to the mat wherever they fall. doesn't matter. We're just going to stay here, bent knees, tuck the head. Stay here, all nice and rolled up. Four, three, Two, and one. Keep the knees bent. Reverse swan dive. Lift the head. Lengthen the back. As I lengthen the back, I automatically lift the torso up a little bit. Inhale, extend the arms to the side. And then inhale again. Rise up. Reach up high. Exhale, release the hands down to the sides. Side bend to the right. Inhale, arms up. At the top, hands together. Exhale, right. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Keep stretching through the fingertips. Three. Two, and one. Inhale, gently come back up. Set yourself again. Take a breath in and lengthen. And exhale, stretch to the left. Keep stretching through the fingertips and beyond. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, rise up. Let's get ready for the back bend. Extend your arms up high. Drop the shoulders. Tuck in the rib cage. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, drop the arms behind you. Feel the shoulders drop. Inhale, lengthen, lift up out of the hips. And exhale, find your back bend. Four. Three. Two, and one. Inhale, rise to center. Bend the knees. 
hands to your heart, forward fold, just crunch up, release the hands down, resting on your knees. Four, three, two, one. Take your hands either behind your ankles or your shins. And as you exhale, let's see if we can straighten those knees. Drop the crown of the head towards the mat. Roll the shoulders behind you. And hold here. Think about trying to rest your belly on your thighs, bringing your chest to your thigh, forehead to the shin. Four, three, two, and one. Reverse swan dives. First bend the knees, lift the head, lengthen the back. Inhale, extend the arms to the side. Inhale, come all the way up. Hands extended high. And exhale, release. Come to the top of your mat. Tadasana once more. Passing through a series of standing poses. Open the hands. As I inhale, I shift the weight left. Arms extend up and the right knees in front of the right hip. All together, inhale up. Hold here. Drop those shoulders. Relax them down. Tuck your hip under if you tend to stick the butt out a little bit here. On the next inhale, we simply step back. Left foot is pointing towards, or left and right foot are pointing same direction. Knees are straight. Hands are by my sides, palms pointing behind me. Halfway forward fold here, keeping the hands behind me. Take a breath in. As I exhale, come down halfway. Inhale, rise up, bend the front knee, come right into warrior one. Perhaps you'd like to move that left or the right foot behind you a little bit to extend and lengthen your warrior one. Good time to make that adjustment because next is warrior two. Remember your gaze doesn't change. You're looking ahead over the left knee, Warrior two transition, take a breath in, and as you exhale, open up into warrior two. You may have to swivel that back foot a bit. Take a look down, make sure your knees are still rotated outward, not pointing in towards the mat. Hold here for four, three, two, and one. Reverse warrior. Right arm, simply bring it in front of the body. Left palm open. Now that's a side bend, so look forward. Square it off with your hips. Inhale, bring the left arm up, drop the shoulder. Exhale, side bend towards the right. Don't collapse. Hold four. Three, two, one. Coming back to warrior two. Inhale, warrior two. Look forward towards the left hand. Coming into a side angle. Allow the left arm to pass in front of the body. Open up the right palm. Face forward, square off. This is the side bend also. Inhale the right arm up. Drop the shoulder. As you exhale, extend. Extend towards the left knee. Extend up so we have a nice line 
from that right fingertip to the right foot that's grounding us. Try not to lean on this left arm. To avoid that temptation, I, I just don't put it on my left thigh. I just float it in front of the body. So now I have to keep lifting up and find that nice side bend. Hold four, three, two, one. Let's transition back to warrior two. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Look forward. Warrior one transition. Inhale, both arms up. Swivel and come back into warrior one. Holding our balance here as we slide into a low lunge, keeping the right knee floating above the mat. Take a breath in. As you exhale, kind of scooch that back foot behind you. Deepen the lunge. I'm on my right toes. Right heel is up. Right knee is up. Drop the shoulders. Four. Three, two, and one. From here, forward straddle. As I inhale, straighten the front knee, swivel forward. You choose swan dive or extended arms as a forward fold. Take a breath in. As you exhale, come forward. Keep the back straight if you can. And then come all the way down and hold here. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Reverse swan dive. Lift the head. Straighten the back. Inhale, arms to the sides. And then inhale again. Come all the way up. And as you exhale, toe, heel, toe, heel. Back to the center. Coming into tree pose, open the hands, inhale the arms up, drop the shoulders. Shift the weight left, right knee comes up in front of you. As you exhale again, place the foot, hold, four, Three, two, one. Keep your hands where they are. Let's inhale and bring that right knee back in front of the right hip. And a big step to the right as we come into goddess. So that right foot is already up. Simply step it wide to the other end of the mat. And let's come down into goddess pose. Inhale, arms up, straight knees. Exhale down to goddess. One more time. Inhale up. And exhale goddess. Inhale, come up. Keep your hands where they are. Transitioning to warrior one facing the right. So bring that left foot in. Right toes lift and come out. And exhale into warrior one. Stepping forward into Tadasana, floating the left knee in front. Inhale, shift weight. Step forward. Left knee is held high. Hold. Four. Three. Two. One. Stepping back. As you exhale, you step back, you lower the hands, palms behind you. Step back, right foot and left foot are in the same direction, straighten the knees. 
Exhale, halfway forward fold, keeping the palms behind. Inhale, scoop the hands forward, bend that front knee right into warrior one. Make adjustments here if you need to. Then hold. Four. Three. Two. One. Remember the gaze stays exactly where it is as we transition to warrior two. Take a breath in. Exhale, open up into warrior two. Take a look down, make sure your knees are externally rotated. Hold. Four. Three. Two. One. Reverse. Warrior, take that left hand, pass it in front of the torso. Open up the right palm, look forward, square off forward. Inhale the right arm up and drop the shoulder. Exhale, find that bend to the left. It's a side bend, not a back bend. Hold. Perhaps you want to change your gaze to look underneath the right armpit. <clears throat> Four. Three. Two. One, keep that right knee steady as we exhale back into warrior two, change the gaze. Extended side angle, drop the right arm in front of the torso, open up the left palm, face forward now and square off once more. Inhale the left arm up and drop the shoulder. Exhale, side bend to the right, change the gaze, keep lifting. Try and find a nice angle of left fingertip through the armpit, hip, to the left foot. Hold here. Four. Three. Two. And one. Let's come out. Inhale. Change the gaze. Warrior two. Transition to warrior one. Inhale both arms up. Swivel the hips, come into warrior one. Coming into a low lunge. As you exhale, you scooch that back foot behind you and come into your low lunge. So you're pushing the left hip behind you. Hold here. Four, three, Two, one, transitioning to front straddle, inhale, release, swivel, and exhale, forward fold any way you want. And hold here. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Coming up, lift the head, lengthen the back, inhale the arms, and then come all the way up. Keep the hands here, toe heel, toe heel. Let's have our feet touch. See if you can bring your hands closer together. If they're not touching, try and bring your elbows right next to your ears without rising, raising the shoulders. Hold here for four. Lift the arch, external rotation. Three. Two. One, deep squat, go ahead, allow the hands to come down, and then simply bend the knees, keep coming down into your deep squat, extend the hands in front of you, tuck the chin, round the shoulders, 
hold here. Four, three, two, and one. Lift the head, bring the hands to heart center, opening your knees a little bit wider. Let's stand up. As you inhale, come all the way up. Extend arms up high. Exhale, release the hands, bend the knees. Come right back into that low squat, extending the arms in front as you lower, tuck the head, hold, four, three, two, one, lift the head, lengthen the torso, hands to heart center, inhale, rise up, extend up high. Exhale, release hands down to your sides. Let's come onto our mats in Dundasana, staff pose. Uh, maybe get a block or a pillow. In Dundasana, hands lightly resting on our thighs. Remember, ankles are active, knees are soft. Lengthen through the spine, drop the shoulders back. Head is in neutral position. Close your eyes and hold. Feel your breath here. Keep lengthening the back, trying to lift up out of your seat bones. And exhale, release. Coming into head to knee pose. So you can choose to come into the traditional Janusarsasana where my knee is pointing out and the sole of the foot is in towards the thigh. Or you can choose the other version where the knee is pointing forward and the foot is behind you. All right? So come into position. Left leg will be the extended one. We'll be holding for two minutes, so get your block ready to help out. Let me get my timer up here. Sit up straight. Hands are on either side of the knee. We're only going down halfway. Take a breath in. As you exhale, come down halfway and hold. Try not to fidget or daydream. If your thoughts start to wander, just bring them back to each inhale and each exhale and focus there. It's very hard to harness the wandering mind, but this is a good exercise to do. And as you exhale, come down one-fourth of the way. So we're down three-fourths. Hold here.
coming out of the pose fully, lift the head, lengthen the back, and now as you inhale, draw the hands back towards the body and sit up nice and straight. All right, let's switch sides. The reason why I'm asking you to to think about your mental focus is because after this, there's a some a new a new movement that we're going to try, and that requires a lot of mental focus. All right, set your block. We're going to come down halfway. Ready? Take a breath in, and as you exhale, come down halfway. Exhale again. Let's come down another fourth of the way. Really taking this time to relax and let go of tension. And coming out all the way, lift the head, lengthen the back. As you inhale, draw the hands back, sitting up nice and straight. Let's return to Dandasana. Hands resting lightly on our thighs. Exhale, lay down. Spinal twist. Arms are extended out to the side. Both knees will float over the hips all together. Take a breath in. Exhale, contract, tilt, float knees. As you exhale again, let the knees come to the right. You look to the left. Relax here for eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. All together, floating over to the other side. Take a breath in. Exhale, contract, tilt, and float over to the other side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All together, take a breath in. Exhale, contract, tilt, float to center, hands to knees, knees to chest. Exhale. 
And let's roll up into Dandasana with arms extended. So take a breath in. And as you exhale, roll up. Exhale, release. All right, go ahead, come to a standing position in the middle of your mat. Or you can be on the floor, whatever is comfortable for you. We're just going to be do a few, a few uh, movements, walking movements. All right, this is called kashiki or kaushiki. It was developed in 1978, so it's relatively new. It's a movement where you need mental focus and um, minimal mobility. Watch what I do first, and I'll just do the count, okay? I stand here in Tadasana, inhale my arms up, hands can touch or be close together. Now, the arm movement is that in three moves, I do a right side bend. So one, two, three. In two moves, I come back up. One, two. Then I go to the left. One, two, three. I come up. One, two. Forward fold. One. Simply hands come forward. Two, touch. One, come up. Then the back bend is one, Two, one. The feet are really simple. It's touch right, touch left, right, left. This is all we're doing the whole time. All right, so you just have to touch and cross, not a big cross. It's a little easier if you keep your knees slightly bent, right, to find that cross so that you're not straining through the hips. Good, so let's all come to Tadasana. We'll go slow together. Inhale the arms up. We start with the right. As I bring the right foot and touch behind me, side bend one. Bring the right foot back to place. Bring the left foot behind me, number two. Then left back, bring the right behind, three. Two times to come up. Left behind, one right behind two now left side left foot behind number one to the left right behind number two to the left left behind number three to the left coming up in two right behind one left behind two right foot behind Keep the hands in front, left foot behind, drop down, touch the floor with your fingertips, rise up and bring the right foot behind, left behind, first back bend, right behind, deepen the back bend, left behind, come up and then walk right, left. That's it. All right? Should we do it again? So we start one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, forward, one, two, come up, back bend, one, two, come up and stomp our feet. All right. We always begin on the right, and the right foot comes behind. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, left side. One, two, three. One, two, forward. One, two, up, back, back, forward. One, two. Did you get it? Okay, let's do it again. Okay, I'm in position. The right foot comes behind as I start the one, two, three to the right side. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, two, one. Left, one, two, three, one, 
to forward, down, up, back, back, center, stomp, stomp. Right? It's great because you really have to use your head. All right, we're going to do it again. And let's see if I can get the chant correct because there's a chant that goes with this. We're in position. Ready? Begin. Ba, 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 nam, kav, alam, left. Ba, 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 kav, alam. Ba, ba, nam, ba, 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 nam, ba, ba, kav, one, two. <laughs> okay, one more time. We'll try and do two cycles, okay? I, I'll do the counting. Inhale, arms up. Ready? One, two, three, two, one. One, two, three, two, one. One, two, one. One, two, one. Stomp, stomp. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one. Two, one, one, two, one, stomp, stomp. Good, okay. So this is a fun thing. You guys can Google this if you want. But it's, it's really using the brain right and left sides, um, and it's quite fun. So let's come back down to the mat. Come to a nice seated position. Again, something to do in your home practice is that when you do a stimulating practice, and when we're first learning it like this, it's stimulating. Once we um, have the muscle mind memory down, it becomes a very calming exercise. But the mechanics of it can be stimulating. So I like to do a little alternate nostril breath when I learn something new. So you know how to do it. Four minutes. Go ahead and start.
Finish your cycle on the left side, and then release the right hand. And very consciously breathe through both nostrils, feeling the air pass through the upper lip and through the nostrils. Do your best not to fidget. We'll stay here for two more minutes. Now, as we close the class today for the next four minutes, if you're really in a, a beautiful, relaxed state, stay exactly where you are. If you prefer, come into Savasana. You choose. Next four minutes, I'll time us.
And whether you're lying down or in a sitting position, let's take note of our breath and our state of mind right now. And let's hold on to that as we begin to bring movement back to the body slowly. Moving the little joints and the big joints. And then if you're laying down on your next exhale, go ahead, come to your side. And then on your next exhale, push up to a nice comfortable seated position. Let's all meet here in our seated position. Hands resting lightly on our thighs or knees or perhaps in a yoga mudra. Lengthening the spine. Shining your heart. And let's share the pranava together. Inhale, hands to heart center. Take a breath in. Bowing down to the teacher within. Inhale, come up. Eyes open. Full.